Officer Chow Chin Chows, Judge BX Games here. Welcome back to another episode of the Pokemon Uranium Wonderlock. In the last episode, we went to the nuclear power plant on Decrom to stop it from being attacked by hordes of nuclear Pokemon. Us, Ninjas, Theo, uh, the gym leaders from the last, uh, for the gym leaders for the episode before as well. We all went, we all tried to stop this thing. But, sadly, we were attacked by the legendary Pokemon, Urain and Curry, the trainer of Urain, I'm guessing. I don't know. But, um, in, the, in the aftermath, Cameron was a back. Uh, Cameron was back, and everyone thought Cameron was dead, but turns out he's not dead. And he had actually uh, hidden, the, uh, ur hidden the uranium from Urain to try and stop him and try and cause him to come out. So, a trap, if you will. But sadly, uh, Cameron is in a bit, uh, is in intensive care right now. So is Kellen. But Kellen is at least strong enough to talk to us. So that's what we're going to do here. We are in the Tandor Rangers HQ and we are going to try and talk to Kellen and see what he has to say because, you know, it would be important. This is an emergency room. You aren't authorised. Oh, it's Joanne and Professor Bampo. Good timing, both of you. Kellen is alive and awake and he's asking for you. Please follow me. So we can see the ranger here, and we can also see uh, Cameron, Theo's dad, and we can also see uh, Kellen. Uh, this thing right here. Now you've probably seen this thing. It's an it. Boss is hurt. Pete must protect boss. This is the evolved form of Prime Ape. I didn't realise this until I died, until my primate died that primate could evolve. And that there's a primate evolution in this game. Now apparently there's this thing called the Jungle Crown, and if you level it, if you get primate to hold that and it levels up holding that, then it will evolve into this. And that's really cool, but I didn't even know, if I'd known about this, maybe we'd still have Iodine. Maybe we'd still have iodine if I'd known about this. But anyway, let's talk to Kellen. Joanne, is that you? I'm... Jo- wait, no, this is Kellen. Joanne, is that you? And Theo, and the Professor Bambo too? I'm glad you're all here. We can- uh, we came to this quick. We came. Wait now. This is ba this is Bambo. I need to look at where the text box is coming from. We came as quickly as we could. How are you feeling, Kellen? Yeah. I'm fine. My exposure wasn't as bad. <laughs> Please try not to over ex exert yourself, um, Kellen. The radioactiveness has um, entered. The radioactive air has entered your some some radioactive air has entered your lungs. You need to keep your heart rate down. How can I remain calm when citizens and Pokemon are in danger? Listen. Now that we are here, now that we know some more about what we're up against, I came up with a plan. You're in hospital, mate. You're not going to be able to activate your plan unless you want me to activate your plan, which is a very bad idea because I'm not very good with plans. Now, I'm positive that Curie is the person who caused these meltdowns. Well, yeah, that's imp that's obvious. If we take down Curie, then the nuclear power plants will remain safe and we can begin restoration. Of course, that requires us to find out where Curie is hiding. Fortunately, Cameron has been uh, has been helpful on that front. He's 
do you not realize he's kind of not really conscious at this moment in time so he's not really going to give us that much information dad but he's been out ever since uh, he it seems Cameron uh, expected something might like this might happen when we brought him in we found these documents that had been hidden inside this jacket he appears to have been gathering information on Curie and Uraine for some time. And it also included a letter. To Kellen and the and the rangers of uh, Cap, uh, Tandor. You know me as Cameron. Uh, Kane, uh, Cameron Kane, an engineer, a private contractor, and father. To Theo. Uh, However, this is not the truth of who I am. My name, my real name is Cameron Stormbringer. I am an agent of Interpol. Eleven years ago, I returned to Tandor to investigate reports of dangerous and illegal experiments on Pokemon. In the process of my undercover investigation, I was discovered and uh, the criminal uh, con covered their tracks and fled. All the people died as a result, and it is my, it has been my greatest regret and my failure. Interpol. After my failure, Interpol released me into uh, early retirement, but I never forgot what I had discovered on that island. Dad was a secret agent? Wow, that's awesome! Dad, that's not so awesome. <laughs> he was always uh, a reserve type of guy. Just showed up in town one day after the accident with his, ki uh, with his kid. He never really took uh, talked about who he was or where he came from, man. So Cameron knew about the explosion ten y years ago. The one where uh, Lucille lost her life. Why didn't he tell me? There's more to this letter. I even though I was retired, I could not rest until these criminals had been brought to justice. I knew that there was proof still out there, so I became a contractor in the nuclear power plant Epsilon. I need a drink. More cherries and berry squash. Using the construction of the new power plant as cover. I I plan to investigate the um, site of the of the ruined power plant to prove what had happened was no accident instead what I found was uh, something even more far more sinister blueprints and diagrams that had dealt to anal dealt to analyze the creation of an artificial pokemon that had de the creation of the artificial Pokemon. I was on the verge of having everything I needed to report this to Interpol. When the unthinkable happened, a huge demolition shock on the island. And and that was when I knew this had gone, to, uh, this was far from over. I narrowly escaped the explosion back of the uh, explosion on the back of a Yamaguchi from the sky, uh, from high in the sky, that saw, uh, that was when I saw a lone figure from the wreckage of, the of a ruined power plant accompanied by a Pokemon. I recognized the mask that uh, figured uh, the mask that the figure was wearing 
from the diagrams I had seen. It was Curie's interface. The high-tech device was made in the labs. It was a purpose. Their purpose appears to be some type of mental relay. It transmits the wearer's thoughts and commands to the Pokemon. Your reign. A man-made Pokemon built of the source of unlimited energy at its uh, full potential. The, it has the power to split atoms. However, uh, in order for it to reach that potential, it needed to consume a lot of nuclear fuel. To facilitate this, it had to, to, the ability to sense uh, radioactivity, a geyser surge. Yeah, I need to read that in English for, in, in, you know, proper, like, my voice, because the fact is, you know, these things are weird. I believe that uh, Uranium was created on that island and had remained there for years, deep in slumber. It was the arrival of the new uranium fuel on that island that had sparkled its reawakening. But Uranium wasn't alone. Wait, I'm curious. That person, I have no idea who they are or what their goals appear to be. But they are in possession of the Curie interface. And it seems to be your range trainer. Additionally, they seem to know what... Uh, they seem to want to avoid being seen. They do this by utilizing teleportation power, Quantum Leap. However, each time they do use this ability, a faint radioactive trace gets left behind. Following these traces, I was uh, securely tracked them across the region for months. The fact that everyone thought I was dead made it far easier to stay undercover. I can only imagine how f uh, worried fear must be. But, much as I care about my son, uh, protecting Tandor is more important. It is, it very much is. So, you would just let uh, us all think that you were dead? How could you do that, Dad? I was so... just... Distraughtened. I mean, I know uh, it was because of you. Uh, you had been a secret agent doing secret agent stuff to do, but you could have just at least sent a sign. Anything. Yes, Ca losing Cameron was hard on all of us, especially you, Theo. But. While he was uh, missing, he was trying. He was successfully tracking Curie. The information might allow us to finally capture and stop Curie. Put a stop and put a stop to all this. At last, it seems to have settled down. Um, the ruins of Power Plant Zeta, north of Vanderville. Uh, its remote radiation keeps intruders away. But there's a stockpile of nuclear fuel there, but it's not enough to last for e last them forever. Excess Eventually, they will run out of fuel, and they will be forced to move in search of other fuel. The only remaining source of uh, source of fuel is in East Tandor. That's where they will uh, move next. I believe it's time for me to make my move. I shall anonymous me alert the rangers before I uh, before the attack and, and have the nuclear fuel relocated elsewhere. Should you rain and uh, should you rain get a hold of your fuel, it might be able to reach its 
fully revitalized, revi revitalized form. A Pokemon with unlimited destructive power. I must do whatever it takes to prevent that uh, Rangers will set up a trap for your rain and Curie at the power plant and Omicron. There is they will force uh, be forced to reveal themselves if they try to manage to escape. They will flee to Pokemon. They will flee to Power Plant Zeta again. In that case, I will join the Rangers and confront them. I must bring them to justice for mine and everyone's sakes. Cameron Stormbacker, Stormbringer. <laughs> Sorry, I will cut that out in recording. Sometimes I have to sneeze. Cameron Stumbringer. So that's the end. So that's the end of the letter. Yes. It is. Although, that's not all Cameron left us. He seems to left us quite a lot of data. Gathered about Curie and Rurain. Files. Detailing their abilities, weaknesses, and he's fairly fixated on it. You're no stranger to that, uh, Evo, are you, Kellen? That aside, Cameron's uh, information may prove invaluable. Included is uh, was a tracking signal. Apparently, uh, during the battle with Curie and Urain, he managed to attach a small guy geolocator to them? My rangers are scanning for the frequency now. Boss! We traced the signal! It's coming from the west. Just like you said, it seems to be organizing deep beyond the Vanderville Havardus uh, zone. So Cameron was right. They're inside Pokemon pa They're in Power Plant Zeta. Are there hazmat suits prepared? Ready to deploy, sir! That's good news. This time the rangers have the advantage. We will track them down and stop them. Um, I wish that I was I could lead this mission, but Joanne. Normally there's an oath and a ceremony, but the time of the ascent. The time is of the essence, so I'll get right down to the point. I'm promoting you to full ranger status. Yeah, I'm a Pokemon. Yay, I'm a Pokemon. I got the hiccups now. Great. But anyway, I'm a Pokemon ranger now. Yay! I want you to lead this mission in my stead. I know you can do it. You've overcome every challenge in your path. You have eight badges now. You have become strong, a brave, and, indepe and an independent person. You just... I just want you to know. I'm so proud of you, Joanne. I couldn't have asked for a better child. I just want to be a better father and hope that I can make it to you and make it up to you someday after all, all this is done. I think that was me. I think that was Joanne trying to hug her dad. I'm so happy my dad is alive. I never want him to leave again. Also, I got to make this Curie person pay for whatever they did. For what they did. Kellen, I want to become a ranger too. Of course, Fia. You can get a promotion. Uh, you can get a promotion for that mission. And you must. The more strong trainers we have, the better chance of taking it down. Curie. Uh, taking down Curie. I will stay here at uh, Rangers HQ and provide backup. We will monitor the situation. Your position remotely, Professor. We need your. 
We need you in the laboratory. Of course, man. We're close to making a breakthrough on a cure, man. I just know it. Hey, Joanne. Hey, Joanne. We get to be rangers now. That's awesome. Isn't it? You two have just... Uh, you two have more than proven yourselves. Uh, Theo, your actions. And in front, standing up to Curie. Where, uh, well, it was be... Where it was foolhardy, but you were brave and admirable. Hey, give it a whack, asked. I just found out my dad was alive, and he was in trouble. I couldn't stand by and do nothing. It's true. His dad was dead. Well, as far as he knew, his dad was dead. Dad? I will make your sacrifices worthwhile. And when you finally wake, I'll be there to tell you that you helped save Tandor. A squad of rangers is waiting uh, at the west dock of Route 7. There, you will take the boat across uh, uh, the lake to Route 8, the wheat fields. That area has been uh, disintended as a hazardous zone. You will, uh, you will need to be provided gear. Fortunately, our researchers have uh, developed a hazmat suit which will protect you from the radiation. At this far side of the route, uh, there is a road leading to nuclear power plant Zeta. The tracking signal is coming from deep inside the power plant. You will need to be prepared. We don't know what to expect. Okay, this is scary, but it needs we need to sort this out. But before we go and sort all these things out, I let's go and teach someone fly. Because we need to go and we need to get a flyer. And then we can also visit the Tinkerer, because you guys you know, I've always been visiting the Tinkerer off screen and you guys have never seen the Tinkerer do his tinkering. So I kind of want to show you the Tinkerer. So... It is time to bring Nitrogen out the box. Just for a sec. And we'll put Whimsicott in the box. We'll put Boron in the box for a moment in time. Actually, wait. We don't need to take Fly. We don't need to teach Fly. Just let me do this. So I want to go to Legintown. We are now in Legintown. I forgot. I got the. Uh, I've got the uh, pass uh, to go on the uh, uh, on the subway. I don't need to fly. You know, it just takes a few more seconds. Hey, mate. My next invention will blow everyone's minds. I'm busy. Get out of my house. Oh, you're still not ready yet. Okay, maybe I do have to teach Fly to uh, a Shout Town then. I thought it'd be ready by now. I honestly thought it'd be ready by now, but I guess not. I guess I'll teach Fly. There we go. I will teach Fly. Nitrogen, in your death you will become a fly slave. There we go. Now we know fly. Maybe knowing fly is helpful to the situation? No. Okay, the tinkerer will still not let me tink. He's not ready to tinker yet. Alright, fine. Back to Pearl Beach City then. Oh wait, I'm going back to Birdle Town. That's not where I need to go. That's not where I need to go, but... I am now here in Birdle Town. Why did I go here? Alright. Fly me back to Birdle Beach City. 
Okay, that's Professor Cyrus's lab. Birdo Beach City. That's where I need to go. Right, thank you, Nitrogen. If I need you again, I will let you know. But for now, you are my fly slave. Which I feel bad about, but like, I've... You know, you're dead and all, so... I don't feel as bad. Using my dead Pokemon as fly... As my HM... Uh, using dead Pokemon as HM slaves, if I need HMs. Most of my items uh, replace HMs. But I still haven't got the Fly HM replacement yet, so I still need Fly. At this moment in time, I still need Fly. Okay, so I need to go to Route 7. Which is... Here. Yeah, I need to go here. And I need to go to where the boats were. And, uh, where the boat was. That's where I need to go. Uh... Where's my repels? I don't want to run into Pokemon right now. Route 7. Not here. Okay, so I think it might be the other end of Route 7. You know, towards Route 8, which is this way. I think. Yeah, it is. This way. Hey, Theo! Joanne, finally! Good. Now you're here. Now everyone's here. Ready to go, Joanne? We're gonna get into the hazardous zone. It's gonna be pretty dangerous, plus, it'll be swarming with nuclear Pokemon, but I'm not afraid. I can handle a few nuclear Pokemon, no problem. So, how about it? You all set? Yeah, I'm all set. Let's do this! Got on the boat. We'll explain. The mission when we're over there. This is Kellen. Oh, over to has has a team one. Do you copy? Loud and clear, sir. We're on route to the hazardous zone right now. Are Joanne and Theo there? Yes, they are. Uh, uh yes, uh, me and Joanne are here. I mean, yes, sir. Good. We will need to. You will need to equip yourselves for this mission. The uh, in the boat storage, you will find packs of Pokeballs. They're a new experimental type of ball the researchers have developed. They should work uh, event especially on nuclear Pokemon. Nuclear balls. Now there's, now there's more than one piece of technology that you'll need. The crown jewel of any research are hazmat suits. Oh, there's only one. See, if this is just a proto. Uh, this is just a prototype. Right now, there's only one functioning suit. The rest, uh, the rest of you will have to leave. Uh, I've been equipped with masks and radiation shell shielding clothing, but uh, the hazards, uh, but the hazmat suit is something special. We based it on the blueprints developed uh, uh, in the Hoenn region. It will accompany the shield. Uh, it will completely shield the body from uh, radiation fallout. It contains air filtration systems and e even allow you to breathe underwater for a limited amount of time. Um, also, there is included to be a built-in communicator and geolocator, which will let HQ track you and communicate at any time. So I should wear that then. I should wear that. Joanne, I want you to wear it. I would have worn it myself, but the circumstances being what they are, I trust you will make good use of it. 
I wanted to wear a suit, but I know he, why he picked you, Joanne. You were the better trainer between us. Yeah, I've beaten you several times, Theo. I'm the better trainer. I made the both of you honorary rangers for this, re uh, for this reason. Joanne, I don't doubt your... I don't shout you. You'll make me proud. Shh. Now everyone... Now everybody, your mission is to infiltrate the power plants and find Curie's... Uh, where Curie is hiding. Subdue and separate them from the... Separate uh, them from the legendary Pokemon you reign. So that... They can both be brought into custody. This is real. The fate of this region is at stake. You are Tandor's best and brightest. We are counting on you. Good luck out there. Over and out. I guess I'll go and put on my nuclear suit. Equip the hazard suit? Yes. Joanne changed into the hazard suit. Yeah, I can't run in this thing. Just want to mention that, cannot run in this thing. So, this is going to be an interesting little story arc. Man, the hazard suits, the hazard suits looks freaking sweet. It's equipped with gas masks, uh, but the gas masks are cool too, I guess. Anyways, we can't afford to be wasting time. Let's go! We're headed to Route 8, the wheat fields. It was you used to be a pristine natural uh, uh, route of beauty, but now it's uh, mostly just an insolent plate. Uh, in a radiated place of Tandor. We must stop Curie and make her pay for what she has done. Whoa, the air is thick out here. I don't think I can. We could breathe without these masks. This is Kellen. Joanne, do you co Theo, do you copy? We hear you, boss. We've entered the hazardous zone. All right. Your target is a power plant northwest of here. You should, you should start making your way there now. Uh, be your, uh, be on guard. It's likely to be. It's likely you will be attacked by nuclear Pokemon. My rangers will flank you and keep you safe. Got it. Good luck. <sighs> Joanne, let's head to the entrance of the nuclear power plant. I want to get there first. Yeah, we'll get there. I don't think I'll be as much uh, use without a Pokemon. I must provide... Uh, oh, you can restore my Pokemon. Thank you. That will be very, very useful. And this is where I'm going to end today's episode. So if you did enjoy, please leave a like, comment, and subscribe. In the next episode, we will continue on towards Nuclear Power Plant Zeta and see if we can find Uranian and Curie. But until then, I'm just PH Games. If you enjoyed this, leave a like, comment, and subscribe. But until next time, me to Pokemon Gitaraza. Everybody get Pokemon. Good night.